Hello, my name is Wyron and welcome back to episode 7, I believe, of this survival series. And I know, it's been a while, and a lot of things happened since last episode. First and foremost, my exams are finally over and I now have a lot of time to make videos, so expect a lot more videos on my channel during the next few weeks. And also, one other major thing that happened is that 1.17 part 1 came out, and you may be quite disappointed, but I didn't update this world, simply because I used a lot of mods to make these episodes, and I couldn't do without them. I mean, I used WorldEdit to plan my build in creative, then I used Lightmatica to reproduce them in survival, I used ReplayMod to make time lapses, Optifine, and most of these are not available in 1.17 yet, so I may update this world sometime soon, but not today, sadly. So anyway, even though I had exams, I still played sometimes on this world, and as you can see, I built this small shack for wood storage and also I did a bit of trading yeah a bit of trading and actually you may think like that's huge but that's just a couple hours worth of trading it's not much at all and I should lower the sound of these villagers because it's gonna drive me crazy so yeah we are definitely rich as you can see I also enchanted my axe it doesn't have silk touch yet, or efficiency 5, but I will get that soon. It's called Wyron's Viking Spoon because, you know, well, it's kind of a Viking Spoon. And also, one last thing that changed is my resource pack. As you can see, it now has a dark UI, and the stone blocks... Uh, can we see a stone block, please? Stone, hello. Aha! See? We now have the same stone texture as in Minecraft Dungeons, and I find it... Nope. Sorry. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying is that I find it dope. It looks so cool, okay? And I'm gonna play with this texture from now on because I love it so much. It's so cool. Ooh, also, I didn't have this helmet in last episode, I believe. I crafted a diamond helmet and enchanted it. That's what I got. It's pretty good. It has Respiration 3, which is very very cool so anyway this intro is already probably way too long so what are we gonna do in today's episode well in last episode i told you i would probably be building um some sort of house for these villagers and i think i want to build a library i have prepared the design in creative and i think it's gonna look great so we will be able to store store <laughs> to um how to say that to um, shelter these villagers and also finally have a place for this enchanting table because it has been sitting on that sand island since episode 1 or 2 I believe we got it and I mean it's out of place it doesn't look right so anyway I think I want the library to go somewhere here um, between these trees so that's gonna be the third building of the village and you're gonna like it. I like it a lot. You're gonna like it too. And I have an arrow. How is that possible to get an arrow stuck in your shoulder in this? Wow. This is a weird angle. Anyway, roll the time lapse.
Hey, this is Warren from Editing, and I just wanted to let you know that while gathering resources to build the library, I found this igloo, and I killed the villager, which granted me the zombie doctor achievement. And yeah, as you could see here from my inventory, I had a ton of dark oak logs on me, so I was probably out to destroy dark oak forests. And yeah, I killed that villager. And here we have it, finally, the library. So for you, it has been about 30 seconds. I'm not sure, but for me, it's been about three days since I have been online and I have been doing some work off camera a tiny bit. So as you can see, I have also built the interior to this. It's not done, of course. There are a lot of details missing, such as bushes everywhere and potted plants here and stuff but as you can see there will be a lot of villagers in there so we have one two three slots plus five more down there and then we have a lot more slots up here upstairs so i also put the enchanting table here because it was really out of place on that sand island over there you can see it's from the window and now all i have to do is move my villagers from down in this house to here in the library so this is gonna be extremely extremely boring so i will do this off camera as you can see i also put a slot here um outside so i will do this off camera and for now i want wait <laughs> why did i leave cobblestone here so as i was saying for now i want one thing and that is another chest because I wanted one to decorate the library, but I mean, I can't have one because I don't have blaze rods. And also, I plan to, ouch, destroy the ender dragon soon. And I'm gonna need blaze rods for that too. And I'm saying I need blaze rods because as you can see, I already have 13 ender pearls. I never actually shown you guys that, but basically since I started playing on this world, I have been killing every enderman I saw because I knew that um, having to farm like 14 or so under pearls without a farm is a pain in the back. So we have pretty much all the pearls we need. All we need for now is blaze rods. So I suggest we go on a bit of an adventure in the nether and try to find a fortress and if we can kill enough blazes to craft some ender eyes. Alright, I took some blocks, twisting vines in case I fall from a high place, everything I needed to go to um, the nether, and here we are, so... Oh wait, actually, I have done this off camera and I don't think I have shown you guys, but I built this pathway here, going through the nether. Yeah, I haven't shown you guys this, and it goes all the way to this portal, which is the portal to my industrial district, it was previously down there on this tree and I moved it up here, it still works, it still is linked to my industrial district. But I now have this which is a bit safer because as you can see there are these mushrooms everywhere. So if I... Hello? Okay, as you can see the hoglins are scared to come near these fun guys. See, the kid was coming to attack me and he backed off. So yeah, this is a lot more safe, we also have fences to prevent me from falling in uh, this lava pit. And yeah, I think overall it looks pretty cool. So anyway, I now need to find a nether fortress and I think there is one north? Is that north? No, south. South from here. But I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to explore and I will catch you guys whenever I found it. Oh wow! Um, so I haven't found a bastion, but I'm really really close to my portal It's like a few hundred blocks away and as you can see there is a big piglin bastion over here and Also this enormous saucy valley So anyway, I think this bastion could be a great place to go for another video But not now because I have to find this fortress still so I'm gonna continue exploring and Hopefully we can find a fortress not too far from here. Oh god, this is dangerous.
Another piglin bastion, wow, this Holson Valley is never ending and I am not finding a single fortress. This sucks, but at the same time I kinda want to go explore the piglin bastion. So, ah, th that's dangerous. I mean, last time I tried exploring a piglin bastion, I got jumped by piglin brutes and died in like 3 seconds. But I think if I'm careful enough, ooh, hello there. If I'm careful enough, um, I should be fine. I just need to be wary of the piglin brutes. Those were the days. Wait! I just realized I forgot to lower my settings again. This is why I'm, <laughs> I'm so frame ratey. Because I'm in recording with these settings and my recording software. At the same time, isn't really ideal. No! The gas blew up the chest! Oh, oh come on! The, oh, maybe there were some valuables in there. Ooh, diamond spoon. That's cool. Um, swords? <laughs> what are these swords even? Oh, come on. And I have a crossbow. That can be useful. I'm gonna load it, just in case. My god, these piglin brutes are really freaking brutal. Alright, well, I guess, ouch, I will be back um, to searching for... Ooh, this is dangerous. A fortress, then. And... Ah, uh, oh, stop, please. And this soul sand is slowing me so bad. Okay. I should be fine now. Um, and I thought there was a fortress really close, but I'm like almost 1,000 blocks out and I can't seem to find one. So hopefully I, I'll see one soon because, well, this is starting to get dangerous. If I ever need some bone meal, I can just come mine here and I think I will have bone meal for the rest of my life. I mean, look at all of these fossils. Knowing that each of these blocks is 9 bone meal, yeah, I could have like double chests of bone meal very easily. <gasps> yes! Found it! Finally! Okay, um... Ah, this is slow. I need to be very careful because there's a blaze and a wither skeleton. Thankfully I have uh, some fire protection armor. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Nah. No. This is bad. I mean, if I can get some Wither Skulls too, while I'm at it, that could be great. But I think without looting 3, the drop rate is like 1 out of 20. So, yeah, I don't think I'm getting one. Hey, first blaze rod, let's go. I need about, I'd say, what, 10 of them? Wow, my inventory is so full. Oh, wow, I hadn't noticed. This fortress is huge. Oh my god, I didn't know there was such a void here. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Thank god there was land because otherwise this would have been very 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 bad. Yeah, I should be more careful. Oh! <gasps> okay god, I really should be more careful. Alright, so I enclosed myself in a blaze spawner and I can hit them here without them hitting me. Ouch, help me. Okay, I'm fine. So, uh, I have all the blaze rods, as you can see, I think this will be enough. And I now need... Ooh, I think there is a good way to go. I now need to go back to my nether portal. And I don't really know where it is, because this fortress is so far away, as you can see, almost 1000 blocks. But... I know it's close to 0, zero so I'm gonna go there and hopefully we can find back our portal. 
Yes, I finally found back my portal. It wasn't so hard, it was mainly just really, really, really dangerous. Alright, so I can finally craft blaze powder, another eye, and finally, another chest. Woo! And this anvil is gonna move to the library because I just realized that I put my enchantment table there but I don't have an anvil so yeah that's kind of dumb I'm gonna place my anvil right there and I will need a grindstone too because um, well currently my only grindstone is like on my chimney I think yeah well I don't need it so much do I I'll see you next episode and oh actually about next episode I think it's time that we finally go beat the dragon. So yeah, I'm gonna craft some blaze powder, some under eyes, empty my inventory, and yes, I completely gave up on the organizing thing. I don't even have enough space down there, so I'm storing all my crap in the attic. I'll make a storage room one day, maybe. I'll get more food. And also some arrows to go with my crossbow. A bed to set my spawn points in the stronghold. And also maybe some obsidian to create a portal once I'm there and come back here quicker. Alright then, I will put my boat to sea, sail away and bump in all the pillars of my bridge. And I guess we're off to... To kill the dragon. Let's go!